next thing I want to do is grease the uh, S76 loader, skid loader. Um, Drew had it cleaned up, cleaned it up last night, and so now's a good time to grease it. It's got about 25 hours on it already. I figure it's probably time to get her good and greased. So, be working on that. Right, so, found the grease gun, and I just uh, found out it's empty. So. To, to change the tube of grease, you gotta take this off, pull this bottom plunger out, and it'll push the empty tube of grease out. Throw that away. Then there's a notch at the bottom of the tube here. So whenever you pull this out, it click uh, holds it open. So then you take your tube of grease, pop the top off, you slide that end in first, and then it's got a this tuna can looking end, keeps it from going in the tube too far, and you pop it open, pull that off, throw that away, slide that in, and twist it in most of the way. And when you're almost all the way in, you let this plunger go. Push that in. Turn it on. Alright, so we got grease coming out now, so this should be good. You screw it in the rest of the way. You're good to go. The reason for greasing things is to make the uh, metal parts last longer. So. The grease just provides a good lubrication. Um, I've heard it said before that you know, grease is a lot cheaper to buy than uh, parts. So you keep things nice and greased and uh, things last longer. So the skid loader's got a fair bit of moving parts. With all the lift hinges and pins and whatnot, they kind of take a beating. So. Got to keep them good and greased. Here's a skid loader. Um, I've not actually cleaned this, or cleaned it. I have not greased this skid loader before, but I'm assuming it's mostly where the other ones were in the other loaders. We got one down here, there, there. Be one here, here, one there. Uh, There'll be some of the bob tattoos like here, over there, and then here. Should be one right down here. See that there, there. Uh, be one here somewhere. Oh, yeah, there it is. And then everything else, uh, it'll be mirrored on the other sides. It'll be easier to uh, get to some of these that bucket off. So I got that greased up. Um, and so now my plan is to get this 773 skid loader, wash it up, and uh, service it, change oil and whatnot, filters. So. Hopefully it'll fire up for us. Pretty warm day, it seems to be. It still wants to glow, so we'll let her glow and hopefully it'll fire up. Uh, this doesn't have the most hours of any skid loader we have, but it's uh, it's definitely the oldest one we have, so. But, kinda does what we need it to, so on using it.
I'm going to get this cleaned up. I won't brush or nothing. Just make sure I get to the grease zerks. Uh, and they're clean. Um, tires cleaned off, whatever, major stuff. But anyway, I wanted to show you this. I don't know. So right here, you can see this massive dent. To the, this, that happened probably 10, 12 years ago. To this day, I do not know who put that dent in this, this skid loader door. That is why they put backup cameras in skid loaders now. Key out. Nobody's gonna be running it now. So, um, we gotta get the uh, oil drain in. So, oil drain plug there. Some wrenches and they get plug off. Should be good. Let it run for a little bit and um, tuck it over in its corner and we'll be good to go.